There we go. Oh, hey everyone, welcome aboard. I'll be a Captain Lin tonight, along with... He's a mighty Lieutenant Rakir at your service, along with... Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, Liz is currently scurrying around the decks looking for their headset. So we'll have to... We'll have to give them a few more minutes. <clears throat> yeah, there but, is yeah. <laughs> all around the floor right here. <clears throat> but yeah, welcome to Crosscodes. Now that we're done with L.A. Noir, well, I honestly wasn't expecting we'd move on to this game this quickly. Though, Monday is mostly the game that Liz is available for streaming, and we were otherwise planning to do a Borderlands stream, but uh, Rama isn't available at the moment. So, we just suggested Crosscode instead, and, well, <laughs> Liz jumped. <laughs> okay. Swore with a and swear word and a confirmation of yeah. <laughs> In excitement. Okay. We'll just have to take a bit we'll have to just have to wait on them a bit longer. As for now though, hello there in chat, Pizza Lover and Pyro Sue. Been a bit since we've seen you, Pyro. How are you doing? And you as well, Pyro no Pyro Pizza. <laughs> I almost said Pyro Lover. <laughs> Uh, well, how are you both? My diary, folks. And I'm doing pretty decent myself. Let's see. Things is, I think this is the earliest I have been to a stream. Maybe. Uh, we decided to start a bit earlier because it's rather early for... Lit well, we were thinking about starting on 7, like 30 minutes ago, with the, which has become the usual time for Borderlands streaming. But, yeah, we... <laughs> Rom was being unresponsive because they just fell asleep, so we gave it another 30 minutes. Uh, but yeah, he's decided to just take a rest instead, and there we have Liz. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> uh, okay, how are you doing today? Oh, I'm doing great. How about yourself? <laughs> Pretty well, I'd say. <clears throat> and <Hey. laughs> yeah, you wanted to join in on Crosscode, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> Welcome aboard. <laughs> Okay, I let's get started then. <laughs> uh, da, da, da. Design with challenge in mind. And, uh, we can encourage each replay to try, to try the game with its intended difficulty. However, if those challenges end up making the game less enjoyable or even inaccessible for you, we provide options to tweak the difficulty through the assist tab in the options menu. Always nice when games do this, huh? Yeah, it's, uh, it's like uh, Celeste. So a couple of things uh, going into this. Uh, so... Mostly, I know most of the solutions to puzzles, to the puzzles, so I'll be, uh, so, like, I'm gonna take a back seat on the puzzles, and you can just ask me if you need help with them. Yep. Uh, but... are we gonna be voice characters, or? Uh, you can voice characters if you want, just, uh, ask. Oh, yeah, but... absolutely. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, but here and me so, are... <laughs> Go ahead. I think there's something weird, uh... With a Liz Mike. Uh, yeah, so I so I fucked up the cable on my actual microphone, so I'm using my headset again. <laughs> okay, that oh. explains. <laughs> so, okay, that explains it. Yeah, I can't afford to replace the cable, uh, and I tripped over it and broke the USB end. Uh, okay. Oh. Uh. <clears throat> But yeah, for, for a bit of clarification, uh, Liz knows this game, has played through it from start to finish, I'm presuming. But Rakir and yep. me, we've only seen like I half an hour. <laughs> we only oh, know what we saw in the showcase. <laughs> yeah. Barely. It has been a while. <laughs> but yeah, what we saw did impress us enough to, you know, to put it on the list for eventually. And here we are now. Let's see. Uh, I know you can hear me. Uh, Where is he? <laughs> Shizuka, I have to ask you to leave. You're keeping him here? What do you think you're doing? Time is running short. We don't have a choice. So you abduct a dying person and let him work until his last breath? Is that it? I'm going to talk some sense into him. Don't get in my way. Shizuka, please don't do this. <laughs> I want to voice uh, Leah. And uh, Amelia, uh, who um, you probably you know you, uh, you probably played far enough to meet Amelia. Other than that, like, uh, like those are the only two I'm genuinely attached to. Okay, 
Um, I'm I'm drawing a blank on at the moment, but I'm thinking one of them is the main character. Yep, one of them is the main character. The other one's the one with the orange hair. Okay. She makes the yeah. she makes the puppy girl face. <laughs> Okay, you have their voice. We'll see uh, who Drakia you know, Dra can voice. I'll just do the rest. <laughs> uh -oh. mm, pardon? I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further. Really? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, this is one of the things that immediately was of interest in that this. Combat actually uses the shoulder buttons mostly, but there's a yeah, there's also a range mode, but we'll get to that later. It's you know this is what he wants as well. Sure, you'd like to think that you won't listen. Cold based? Oh we... Yo, come on! I'm getting called for something. Give me a moment. <laughs> Face. I feel like you see gonna... that sky today. Talk about blue. <laughs> Wait, what? Don't worry about it. Oh, gods. But I'm bad at small talk, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, there, there. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, as you can see, I'm already giving you shoulder pads. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that oh, one holding you down to make sure. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, the bearded dragon is great. Is that a bearded dragon? You're I have a bearded dra dragon, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my younger sister used to have a bearded dragon. Uh, his name was Herr Friggle Nerf Schnurz. Wait, what? My my younger sister's a bit of an odd duck. She <laughs> na she named her bearded dragon her prickle nerpster. <laughs> okay, what did I walk into now? <sighs> no, we were just about bearded dragons. My younger sister had a bearded dragon for a while, and she named him her prickle nerpster. <laughs> okay, that's Rikia's last name now. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> No! Uh, anyways, the thing I was called on for, it wasn't anything serious or such, but uh, I've mentioned a few t in a few places now and even on stream about that cat who we, who, <clears throat> who we got returned to their owner. Uh, their name is Simba. I, I, I was calling him Bandit beforehand. Well, guess who the fuck just showed back up in our home? Simba again? Seriously? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> He got out again, and ended up right here again. And the thing, the, the thing that's amusing me the most now is uh, they don't even live in the same real, uh, not the same province, but they live in the same um, municipality over or something. It, in the next, so that little furry fucker just came over like a few, a few kilometers for some reason back to us. <laughs> Uh, okay, we already gave a call to get, get someone to collect his fuzzy ass, and hopefully this time they'll lock the fucking doors. <sighs> oh, good god. <sighs> Anyways then, cold based, very, uh, very creative. Okay. Yeah, elementals... Yeah. We're obviously going to be dealing with elemental uh, weaknesses and strengths. Weak to heat, how surprising. Almost there. If you interrupt the home, the hard work will, will be lost. Don't do this. So, it should never have been made done in the first place, something like that. Okay, this is it. You don't know when to stop, do you? Just watch. <laughs> you can throw as many enemies as you li at me as you like. Level threshold doesn't exactly work in your favor. Uh, 
And in we go. You were expecting a boss fight, but it was me, your dying brother. Satoshi. Sister. What do you think you're doing? You're in no condition to do this kind of work now. All you, yeah, all you should do is rest. Why should I rest when I'm way beyond recovery? I need to finish this work. It's my final task. I told you about the agreement. I finish this, and they will let you go. No, I don't want this. Satoshi, stop it. It is done. Also, isn't Satoshi uh, Ash's Japanese name? Possibly. I, it wouldn't surprise sure. me if they made that reference. There's a lot of that sort of thing in here. Shizuka, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry I got you involved in this. Just promise me that you will get away. Please. Bit of a story here. I was actually involved with this game in early access. Like, uh, that was when I first discovered it. Uh, okay. And, uh, I, so, hands down, one of the best theme early access experiences I have ever had. The devs, phenomenal. Uh, and they've also got a great weird sense of humor. Okay. That's... So we're, we're really getting an in-depth <laughs> yep. perspective on this from you, huh? Yep. There you are. Initialization successful. Huh? Oh, is the speech synchronization malfunctioning? Uh, apparently. Well, something just had to go wrong. Like me basically every time I <laughs> stream and forget something. <laughs> Including that face. <laughs> but you understand me, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, we will make it work somehow. Sec, I think one of the cats is pushing at the door, or it's freaking Simba. Nope, mm. false alarm. No interference today. Hmm. <laughs> You are probably confused about the situation, correct? All right, let us take small steps. You remember VRPs? Virtual ricochet projectiles. Balls. Oh. Okay, you seem to remember. Carla, we're ready. Please initiate the training sequence. VRPs are your most essential tool and weapon. They're basically like balls. Your task is to hit all these robots with VRPs. So give it a shot, or rather a throw. Yep. face. <laughs> We take aim with the right control stick. And then attack with, well, the same button as the melee attack. Nice work. Well, just to be sure, let us repeat this exercise with an extended distance. Okay. Something particular about VRPs, they are not affected by gravity. Thus, no matter how far you throw, VRPs will not fall to the ground. Oh, go. Oh, yep. Okay, something I missed during the showcase of this game. He's actually over there in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. noticed that before. Very good. Okay, next let's enable the charge mode. You activate charge VRP uh, VRPs by aiming for a longer time. Let's practice right away. Mm. 
Charge mode allows for more uh, for the throwing of larger VRPs. Those charged VRPs will ricochet on walls. That's the reason for the name, you see. Using charged VRPs, you can hit the target with the red circle. Easy enough, right? There we go. Okay, enough pra you know, practice with VRPs. And it, still, it took me two shots to actually hit it. <laughs> hmm. It is There's about time we like put you down on your feet. <clears throat> Carla, we are done here. You can terminate the flotation sequence. Oh, oh no, it, it was Carla in the corner, not him. <laughs> My bad. Hey, there, girl. Welcome to our cozy cargo hold. My name's Carla. Nice to meet you. You sure are a quiet one. Apparently there is an issue with our speed synchronization. She still understands us, though. <laughs> no way. Is there a way to fix it? I do not know yet. I will have to look into that. Anyway, I'm sure we'll be able to understand each other somehow. Nonverbal communication, you know? Mm-hmm. Atta girl. Still kind of would like to know your name. Sergey, can you help us out here? Right, her name is Leah. Leah, well, ain't that sweet. Well then, Leah, ready to get up? We gotta get you ready for what's coming. Ball throwing and the like, you know? And I got just the thing prepared for you. Follow me. I like his character charm. They oh, yeah, it's a very charming Oozy. game. Yeah, Oozy with personality. Yes. Let's see. There is one thing I'm going to take a quick look for, though, and it is to slow down the text a bit. So it's a lot, so it's hopefully easier to read. Um. Let's see, did it skip? No, confirm skip. Ah. Let's put that down to two. This way, it's it, in case I stumble on my words, I will still be hopefully be able to okay. read the uh, text. It's sample text. Yeah, let's go with this. For text right. that we can't actively progress by pressing a button. Just leave through the door when you're ready. And here are B. Okay. Just gonna throw some sandwiches into the toaster. All right, let's get started. Your task is to reach the door at the other end of this hall of this room. And don't mind me. I'll just stick around and keep an eye on you. Well, I might give you some hints if you ask nicely, you know. Okay, uh, just see if I'm moving text too quickly for you to react for Leah. Oh yeah, never mind the visor, I just need this to see what you're doing. Don't need to worry about it for now, we will explain it to you later on. It seems that that's still somewhat the same speed. Okay, simple switches, we automatically jump from ledges. Orange walls can be shot through. Okay. And we can break these. Okay. There. And we're not high up enough to hit that. So we'll have to break these. Hit, hit that one. And that one. And then we ricochet for this one. There we go. It's simple to get you uh, used to the feeling of things. Entering the next stage, more switches await. Okay. Uh, I do like that they will still show the text here, just in case we do miss something. Like, these people have kept quality of mind as a very high... quality of uh, life as a high priority. Let's see, girl, you're sure that's with the ball thing. Call the girls VRPs, not balls. Now oh, come on, nobody calls them that anymore, you know? <laughs> Fortunately, yes. Can I send my back for now? 
Luckily, I remember most of these parts. And I, ha mm -hmm. I have my headphones on, so I can hear everything, please. Okay, up uh, there we go. That lowered the shield because we can't fire the charge balls fast enough. Fill that one up. Well done. Yeah, that was all. It's a small room. Yeah, finally. This one's my favorite. You can go wild on those robot mice on these robot mice. Moving target practice. Have fun, girl. So uh Smoke, uh, Smoke Leo was my, uh, deep, was my uh, avatar on uh, Discord for a very, very long time. Yeah. I considered <laughs> that as an option instead of the OC I ended up using as my icon on stream. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm a decent hand with paint, so if you want me to try and just make a custom version of that, which would mostly just be recolors, uh, Feel free to ask. <laughs> I'd consider it. Yeah, it was... Yeah, it was possible to be using... Turn them into an actual gremlin. <laughs> we, we could make a goblin version of Leon. Yeah. That would actually be pretty cool. Let's see. Welcome to the Rat's Fortress. Standing unpenetrated for centuries. <laughs> Apparently someone had a fun time putting this together. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, there's probably one hiding under that block over there, but there's probably also, yep, under these two. <laughs> but yeah, I, I've seen nothing but praise about this game, so I'm looking forward to all of this. Yeah. Bro, slow down there, girl. Just a short warning. Here we meet your first real enemies. And by real, I mean those things will, in fact, attack you. Don't get me wrong, they're really easy, but still. If you do get beat down, your respawn point is right in this room. And that means there's no real danger. Go ahead and kick some ass. Now, just a moment, let me enable the dash module before we start the battle. But these, li these little bits with the icons remind me heavily of the old Final Fantasy stuff and such. So, according to the devs, the game was heavily inspired by, like, the Secret of Mana. Okay. Don't think I've ever seen any playthroughs of that game, but I have heard plenty of it. Hmm. I have been tempted to buy it for my Switch. Okay. Let's see. Dash is essential in battle since it helps you to quickly dodge any attacks at any time. That is. Now please enter the right in order to proceed with the ass-kicking. And I'm actually going to turn the chat speed back to 3, since it was mostly for, well, the out-of-chat out of chatter. Alright, good luck in there. And there we again, I think my... Well, toasted polar bread is done. A bit of advice, hit them with charge balls to cancel their attacks. Okay. Oh, I think... And yeah, when they're charging, they t turn red, making it making it easier to see, but not so not obnoxiously obvious that they're going to attack. You do need to pay attention. There we go. And yeah, we'll need to find a balance between moving and attacking. Yeah, that was awesome, girl. So gay, they weren't kidding. She really has got a care, uh, knack for battling. Yeah, that sure takes me back. Okay. Hey, champ, get your adrenaline down again for a second. We gotta add a bit more edge to your arsenal. A sharp one, that is. <laughs> she is definitely interested in that. I see that got your attention. So gay, you finished? Yes, unlocking virtual proximity impact now. <laughs> Melee. <laughs> Great, with those close combat strikes, called VPI, you can quickly tear through several targets in your path at once. Only them close ones, of course. You got that? <laughs> Sharp as a blade. Now start by clearing that path for us, will you? Okay, yeah. 
the attack button without touching the aim button. Or X, okay. Let's see. Wait there for another sec. Yeah, yeah, I know. A second weight is an attack wasted. <laughs> Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. So you can just pummel this. So you can just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. <laughs> Got her attention. Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get him. Oh, oh God! Let's see. You can actually cancel out of your attacks with a dash, and then cancel out of your dashes with an attack, which allows you to get like really cl a really crazy chains going. Okay. And let's see. Closing fast and whack him over the head. Nice moves. They didn't even see it coming. Okay, let me get try something. Okay, so X is basically a dedicated melee button. If you point and use X, then it doesn't do anything. Okay. Come on, show me a right hook and a left. And that BPI was not modeled after boxing. Trust smarty pants. <laughs> uh, and another victory for fearless gladiator Leah. Boxing gladiator? <laughs> Should look at those cowards ganging up on you. Yeah, but don't panic. Just keep moving and strike fast. Yep. That's the first hit I took there. Okay. <laughs> Amazing work. Numbers sure can't beat skill. And you just crossed the final uh, the finish line. Congrats. Seriously, girl, that was quick. It's like you've never forgotten the basics at all. Oh my, you still look so puzzled after all, about all this. I suppose it's about time we explain all the circumstances. You read it is. But let's take a short break before that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leia as well. Good idea. Best not keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leah, right this way. Okay. All right, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leah, just a heads up. The captain's kind of grumpy, but don't worry about it. That's yeah, just the way he is. <laughs> Cap, I'm back with the report. I see, go on. Initiation? A total cinch. Here's the avatar. Name's Leah. I hard to miss that last. Hope you didn't run into everything. <laughs> yeah. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns on. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. <laughs> she very much didn't. <laughs> Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess she started in the cargo hold soon. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergei is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, just give me a sec to set up your headset. Hmm? Hello there, Jet. My good man, it's been a long time. Indeed, you're still clinging to that chat pack, I see. <laughs> you knew I'd never travel the sea without good old Betty. Anyway, I hope you two will be ready for travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, aren't we talking to Jet, former, former VRP dueling champ? You keep telling us all about your combat moves from the old days. So here I thought maybe you'd want to give Leah a small combat lesson. You're telling me that we lass is up for a battle? Oh, you bet she is. Right. We'll see about that. Just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're dismissed. You can show the lass around the ship, but don't you stir up tr any trouble. All right, Captain. Yeah, the, the pixel artwork in this game is just great, huh? 
Yeah. It's really fantastic. <laughs> and isn't there are many good Pixar games out there, but it is always probably be a challenge in actually any of them with their challenge to make sure you have the odd matching, the personality, the dialogue text, all that. Yeah, it, it's and just not an art style. It's also the style of your game that needs to match. Oh yeah, so far they're nailing it. <laughs> Yeah, because this kind, this kind of uh, designs would not work if you were making a uh, grim zombie game. Then it would just stand out like a sore thumb. <laughs> thumb. Unless yeah. the, some game is supposed to be comedy or something. Yeah, there are yeah. enough quote-unquote parody games on Steam like that, but it's mostly just hentai. <clears throat> oh, of course. <laughs> Come on, Leah, it's time for some fresh air. Oh, also, the music is fantastic, too. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome aboard the MS Solar. And that's a lot of cargo. Hey, the sound. <laughs> the enemy is here! The seagulls! Quite the ship, huh? You know, the view here is nice, but you gotta see what's beyond the bow. We're currently steering towards R Rhombus Square. That's something to look at. Actually, why not go to the bow and explain the situation to Leah there? Seeing Rhombus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? How you get thinking, Sergey? Well, Amelia. <laughs> back inside. And back down again. Also, I think his name is Sergei. Not sure. Yeah, that. <laughs> uh, could be, but I've never been the best with foreign names. <clears throat> there she is, the Avatar. And she's a Sphere Romancer class. How awesome is that? Looks like you, <laughs> looks like you got your first fan, Liam. <laughs> Smug. Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. About all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now I have to take care of the avatar, you know? I'll do it in a bit, okay? See you later. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. Sphere man, so awesome. Bow is this way. It's just a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me. Uh, what are all those destructible boxes doing in that room, anyway? I was just practicing how to use those things, you know? Probably should have done that somewhere else. Now, girl, have a look at this. Okay, where to... <clears throat> How about Welcome to Crossworlds? One step at uh, one step at a time, Carla. Uh, do you remember the concept of a memo? Yes. Uh, do you want to read out those uh, bits as well? Uh, which bits? Uh, the <clears throat> the text choices, the di dialogue choices. Uh. No, uh, uh, sure. Uh, yeah, though at the moment she is still mute, so technically she wouldn't yep. be reading. So we'll, yeah. we'll, we'll see how far her vocabulary goes later on. Mm. All. all right. Now, Crossworlds is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it is real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars have a physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses of the player. And you, Leah, are currently logged into this game as well. Oh, me? No, I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only player and you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That is correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place in the land you see over there, the playground. 
The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory, and we are trying to recover it. Yeah, that's a, <laughs> it's the amnesia trope again, but we're going about it a bit differently. You see, you have been in this game before. Being logged into this game, there is a chance you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. <laughs> yeah, in fact, you'll be going to that glass palace of a city over there. That's Rumbus Square. It's where all players start. Well, I guess I cleared up some things at least, right? All right, then. I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna go talk to the captain and try and set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water, girl. Um, day off. <laughs> By the way, Leah, I had a closer look at that speech, you know, speech synchronization issues. At those speed. Unfortunately, I do not think I will be able to fix them soon. However, I found a little workaround. I might be able to hard code specific audio patterns into your speech module. That means you will be able to say certain words. That should help a bit, correct? So let us try it out. And yeah, I imagine we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> Hi! 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 <laughs> it works! That should help you start some conversations <laughs> with the crew here. <laughs> yeah, that's totally not going to get awkward at all. <laughs> but yeah, I definitely... I'm definitely really interested in what the hell is going to be going on with this, because we're basically... We're basically doing therapy in a game that is sort of like Sword Art, Sword Art Online. Or more, a bit more like Ready Player One, perhaps, <laughs> without no. uh, well getting locked inside. No, no, no. You mentioned one major thing here. The world is real. The yeah. Avatar is not. <laughs> Hello, dear. You must be a guest on this ship, right? Hey, don't be shy. We seem and we're maybe look rough, but we're easy going folks, really. You want to know what I'm doing here? Uh, yeah. mm -hmm. I'm currently checking up on the solar panels here. These are our primary energy source, so they better work properly. Otherwise, our nice and shiny MS Solar won't budge a centimeter. Trust me, being stuck in the ocean too long is not something you want to experience. Hmm. I suppose you didn't even notice you are an avatar. Well, the human appearance is pretty convincing. The Except for the hair color. Yeah, the hair color. Uh, let's see, dude, I know you were new around here. Uh, but, but just because I was too quick about cleaning duty, it wasn't really that much. Well, if they keep this up, people will notice. Uh, sir, we're certainly noticing. Uh, uh, dude, I know you're new around here, but really, you gotta be more relaxed about all this. So if you press A when that line shows up, that indicates you can jump into the conversation. Okay, I was thinking, I, I was pressing Y because that was the button shown earlier. <laughs> oh hey, you're the Avatar girl, right? Yeah. I was giving our newbie here a lesson. Hey, I've been working there here for six months. You sure? Before you know it, you'll be, you'll be cleaning the whole deck front to back every day. Okay, that could get interesting as well, just jumping into conversations where we're not wanted. <laughs> oh dear. And I missed the sailor. Shame on you. Okay, I was just checking if we actually could move behind here or not. <laughs> okay, let's do it to run our way forwards. 
That's why she is now to running. <laughs> ah, look who's here. You must be that avatar, right? Well then, welcome to the MS Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. Yep, right there. Alright, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure avatars are bad at swimming. I very got much get the feeling that's going to be a plot point at some point or another. More like a mechanic. Hi! Hey, can't you see I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Oh, right, I remember. And now, you're that pseudo-robot thing. Oh, no offense. You see, I just recently had this discussion with a colleague. It was about avatars being the same as robots. And I have to insist they are not. Avatars are just some fragile temporary collection of instant matter. Everybody knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties here. So I can't so I just can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, no true robot, see? Howdy, <laughs> howdy, Leah. <laughs> anyway, I have to take care of my babies here, so if you'll excuse me. Okay, so avatars are sort of like hard light constructs. I don't even know how rude he was. <laughs> oh my, that's some extremely colorful hair you've got there. <laughs> Haven't noticed that, Leah? <laughs> I've heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those horns, too. Mm. You're not happy about them either, huh? Now I have to wonder who put those things on you. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you put the horns there? Hi! Oh, avatar incoming. I must say I'm surprised. I expected the embodiment of some gamer kitty's wildest dreams, lots of beefcake and such. Yet here we have such a cute girl. Yeah. <laughs> Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Just like in the old days of MMOs, some things never change. Yeah, we know absolutely nothing about the person behind Leah other than, well, amnesia and that they're going to be going a. Uh, through a form of therapy through us. There you gotta wonder how far the line between person and avatar may or may not be. Yeah. Sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. <laughs> yeah, not, not everyone is going to be as chatty. <laughs> and that's about everyone it seems, unless there's someone hidden behind something. Yep. Oh, Miss Avatar is back. Hi. Well, she talked to me. <laughs> she, she, calm down there, fellow. Anyway, Carla just passed Bass again. She told her that she uh, could take care of all these boxes here. I mean, really, can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work to our, on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes you know, with your we avatar weapons, right? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Please, I want to see that. Well, no pressure, you know. You are our guest, after all. But you'd help us out a lot. So, will you destroy the boxes for us? Mm -hmm. Yes. Show us the boss. <laughs> <laughs> but there's going, there's going to be so many innuendos about those. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> well, it certainly works. Oh, oh okay. God. So they're shielded from certain directions. Okay, that's going to add to puzzles, I'm presuming. Mm -hmm. Sure, this is new to us. We, we only got to the damn boat. Oh. It's the front of the boat, and that's what it. Yeah. We just got to, got to learn the high part, then we have to end the stream. <laughs> Move to the next game, I think. All clear. It's truly amazing. 
I'm, doing, I'm really surprised how quickly those balls were flying. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls. Only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these e AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impacts are all, like, virtual and stuff. I see. So that's why you've been wearing those goofy glasses all day. Goofy, you know nothing about Star Lady. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, thanks a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Avatar. <laughs> okay, that, that also brings up a bit of a point of how are... How is everything reacting with each other like that? Uh, let's see. I'm more curious of, is this on one planet yeah. or just one island? <laughs> it's just an island. Hi! Okay. Are you looking for the captain? I think he's currently somewhere in the cabins. Indeed, even the captain needs a break once in a while. Okay. Let's, let's try the third floor then. Oh, oh, nice that they fade that out so you can actually see where you're going. Uh, wait, wait, is that an Easter egg? Uh, what Easter egg? What you mean this? The that, that's an old school turn based combat game, yeah. yeah hold on a second. Secret of Mana. Maybe. <laughs> Can't talk, must defeat respawning enemy. <laughs> oh, I thought they cancelled this game. Dang it! Oh well. He seems pretty engaged with the game. We should just let him play. <laughs> okay. Hello? Oh, he must be the avatar the captain, to uh, yeah, the captain told us about. Well, feel free to check out the ship. It's just one of the smaller ships of the Solar class, but it does the job. But I suggest you don't go near the room across the hall. Yeah. <laughs> oh my, look at this mess. The captain will certainly not like this. You want to know why? Jet runs a strictly regimented ship. Every room needs to be cleaned before work. I wonder how these guys manage to skip Jet's daily inspection. Explodes everywhere. <laughs> you can jump on the desk to make things worse. The food on the beds. <laughs> oh, also, also, stand still for a second. She has idle. Uh, Leah has idle animation. Yeah, we know, oh. she, she, there was one for playing a bit earlier. Pretty <laughs> stressing like that. <laughs> okay, any more? I <laughs> don't actually remember. It has been a couple years since I played this. Okay, just a stretch at the moment. I feel kind of rare to see idle animation in pixel games nowadays. Like, yeah. they're not kind of common in the past, but... Yeah, typically nowadays... it's just small movements, uh, like bouncing back and forth, like Robin does in Iconoclast. Yeah, or looking around now and then. Yeah. But... Yeah. <laughs> We can jump on top of the waste bin, okay. I was not expecting we could interact with it. Okay, uh, too busy. Can I say some raspberry? Uh, oh, wait. Uh, wait, wait. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 uh, okay, <laughs> I thought you got cut off by your mic for a moment there. Oh. Whoa, you spoke! Is your phone voice finally back? Hi. Wait, that ain't right. Your speech synchronization is still malfunctioning. And I just hard coded the word hi into her speech module. That's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. Let's see. It's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the Cap and I are here and have been planning out your combat training, girl. She's almost set and good to go, right? Aye, this is gonna be interesting. Well, I'm off to my cabin for some final preparations. I'll be done in no time, so just stick with the Captain, okay? See you later. 
Hi, I'll be back on the bridge. You can talk to me when you're ready for the lesson. Make sure you're repaired. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two over there. Make sure you clean up the galley after you're done cooking, understood? Aye, aye, Captain. Okay, getting a hang of the accent now. It's not like we forgot since the last time he told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? <laughs> but why do I get the feel that's... Why do I get the feeling that is... Yep. Oh, wait. <laughs> hey there, Liam. You better not keep the captain waiting. Wait, Carla, is this your room? There is. Something wrong with it. How did you do it? Do what? This room. I did nothing. I can see that. I mean, how did Jet not see this room? I see. Well, we have to wait for another time to hear my secrets, I guess. <laughs> Better go to the bridge. The cap, the cap wants to show Leah some new tricks as soon as possible. Oh. <laughs> That's curious, Leah. Well, I guess we should go then. <laughs> Not curious! <laughs> How does Curla do it? <laughs> I will find out. Someday. <laughs> I'm totally <laughs> unsure if they should know. <laughs> so she did that face. You know, she has to have a very clever rhyme. Or... She's bribing him somehow. Of another variety. There you are. It's about a darn time for your combat lesson. You ready? Good. Let's go to the balcony. Good. Here we are. Carla, are you ready up there? Yes, Cap. Don't forget the goggles. Alright. I haven't worn these for some time. All right then, time to start. I was told you learned the basics done in the cargo hold. Mm -hmm. Still, first I want you to show me uh, if, uh, your grip on aiming and throwing. Carla, prepare the target bat. Time to say hello to an old friend. Listen carefully, I want you to hit that robot from this distance ten times. And do it quickly, got that? I see you understand the basics well enough. That yeah, will make things easier. Carla, we need that turret now. Time to turn on old Betty. Next we'll be practicing the dash. The turret will now start shooting at you. I want you to do three things. First, keep your aim on the turret, but don't throw anything. Second, dodge the turret's bullets without losing your aim. Alright then, let's start. Are you trying to give the character an accent? Yeah, I'm trying to do a Scottish-ish accent. <laughs> you have to be faster than yeah, that last. <laughs> Oh, good God. <laughs> I must keep mishearing every other time you try to say turret. <laughs> Do we even want to know what you hear or think you hear? I you said turd. <laughs> <sighs> Don't you even think about simply walking past them shots. Dash at the right moment. Okay. Uh, well, better let him keep practicing. <laughs> I, I, I'm jumping too soon. Yep. But he will heal us. Let's see, it's possible to do both of these things at the same time. I was so distracted by Helia's accent at the time. I did, did not yep. notice the damn thing that she's fighting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, dodge at the last second once it's already going. <laughs> nice work. Enough with dodging. Now try handle this attack, yeah, glass. Yep. What the heck was that? Don't you know how to do a, guard, a darn guard glass? 
Actually, Jet, as a matter of fact, she does not. Yeah, we got to activate our guard module. So, are you serious? You can't send that last into battle without a proper shield. Yes, I will fix it right now. Good, so now you have your shield. Need an introduction on how it works? Aye, mm -hmm. right, then listen, listen closely. Alright, basics first. Just show me the shield. Okay, left button without moving or B. Good. Note that the shield will only block the front. Always look in that direction of the attack. And finally, you can even aim during guard. It's slow, but... It, it works. Alright, got the basics? Good. Now it's about time you try to block the swarm of balls, right? Here it goes. Very good. That's all the basics I can teach you for now. Now to round everything up, let's have a proper battle against the turret where you can use everything you've learned. But there will be a little surprise winning for you. Now I'll let you take a short breather. Talk to me when you're ready. Oh, okay. Be, 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 wait, 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 wait. Just need to refill my drink. <laughs> Wizzy, make sure <laughs> Captain behaves. Uh, our captain, that is. <laughs> I think you'd have a bit more difficulty with him. <laughs> but yeah, I might as well tell a little something then. Uh, the showcase of this game was not actually the first time that I played it. I played it up until about here and then I realized, oh yeah, definitely going to stream this. So I stopped right about here and well, the next I picked it up was with the showcase someday. And now here we are again. Yay! I'm just glad I get to share this with y'all. Yeah. It's gonna be a delight. I'm trying so hard to not to spoil things. I will have you know. <laughs> Thanks for that. Okay. Actually, can I just... Yep. Oh! Oh, yeah, that's a thing that happens later. It's like, wait, I can't spoil that. Uh, but also, I just adore how much personality they put into these characters that you'll literally never see again like after after this moment you will never see jet or carla again and yet they're still fully fleshed out characters with their own personalities and they're funny and they're cute and it's great i love it yeah that, that shows what that is technically a bit of a spoiler but that one that would come up quickly enough probably uh, unless you're pulling our legs and they pop up at the end somehow Nope. Listen, angry! <laughs> I want my cola back! I want Sergi back! Bloody heck! Sergi stays for the rest of the game, don't worry about that. So, you ready for the battle? <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I like to hear. Let the battle begin. Um, this accent is slipping about as often as some <laughs> cat on ice. On ice? Mm -hmm. uh, don't, just don't tell me experience. Yeah, just look up any video online and you'll see initializing shields. Okay. Yep, got most of them there. Overheat. Okay, we're laying this thing down. Oop. Oop. Captain! I'm sorry to interrupt, but we need you on the bridge right now. What's the matter? Something is approaching us and quickly. Bloody darn timing. Sorry, lass. We have to stop here. Duty calls. Oh. Carla, you clean up the balcony first and come to the bridge afterwards. You understood. Girl, I have no idea what's going on here, but it'd be better for you to go inside, too. It's still on the radar, approaching us at high velocity. No transmission, no darn ship to see. What's going on here? Captain, I think I caught it on satellite. You gotta see this. Uh, hello? Hello? 
nobody? Okay. What a peculiar location we have here. It's a darn cargo ship, you dauber. You look like someone who jumped right out of Crossworlds. The ship is not part of the bloody play in your playground. So don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place. Yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. That's none of your bloody business. Get off this ship and head back to the game you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe we will abide by your command? Did you just call me a mortal, you nutcase? You better leave right now, or I'll be glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bore us. We chose, yeah, we choose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Besides, our search has already been concluded. You, you do not belong here. You need to be removed. Sorry, I, I accidentally tapped out there. <laughs> No problem. Wait, you seem all too familiar. Why, it can't be. It <laughs> Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. Oh, but we must definitely have a way to be certain. Or we most definitely have a way to be certain. What a convenient state we have here. Now it is time to face your trial. Yep. Ah. <laughs> Let's see if you are the genuine article. A display of your talent shall suffice as proof. <laughs> Leah, do you hear uh -oh. me? I'm just as confused about this whole situation as you are. It's certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take on this challenge and keep him busy. I know, this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I'm confident you will be able to handle this. Mm. Because I can see its battle stats. They match your level. It seems like I just stopped at a perfect time before everything really went <laughs> interesting, huh? <laughs> yep. Okay, boss fight. And uh, if... Hey there. Hey. Okay, what's your pattern? You, if we just normally attack you, if yep. Now oh, there we go. Wait. Okay. Typical <clears throat> typical weak point gets exposed after enough time, and this thing is pissed. Hey, can I dodge? Uh, yes, I can dodge those. Grab. Also, something something attack its weak spot for massive damage. Okay. <laughs> also, it, the way it's tapping its arm there, like it's trying to tap out at a, <laughs> a wrestling match. Yeah, I want to comment on this. <laughs> so, boxing? Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I don't do. Sp I don't do fight sports. Now. Nope. Tap, 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 tap. Someone swap me out. Someone fuck swap me fucking out. <laughs> Real history. The few <laughs> defeat the huge hostile crab on the cargo ship. <laughs> and we leveled. Okay. Plus one CP, plus two max health, one attack, and one defense. Woo! The spinning motion, one cannot find it twice in, the wor in this world. Truly, there is no doubt about it. When was the last time we have laid eyes upon you? You within your incomplete vessel. Yes, we have our utmost interest. You will come with us. No, you fucking don't. It greens from the solar fist, you pile of instant matter. What's this? Your divine powers can't handle a proper explosion? Why you? This is preposterous. Okay, he's, he's been pretty damaged from that. 
Hmm? Yep. <laughs> okay, lass, you need to get off this ship right now. Carla, get her back to the teleporter as fast as possible. And tell me once she's off the ship. I'll make sure no trace of Crossroads is left in my ship. Got it, Cap. Follow me, go. In all my years on this ship, this kind of thing never happens. I don't even know what to say. What exactly just happens? I mean, seriously, what's next? Cyborg Sea Serpents? <laughs> is that a Digimon reference? This is the best day, man. <laughs> Miss Avatar, you totally rocked that crap. That was so awesome. <laughs> But that strange blue guy was pretty amazing, too. <laughs> Did you see how he just jumped up from the water? Not to mention how he just dragged you through the air, tele <laughs> telepathy style. That's tele telekinesis. <laughs> Very smooth, fellow. <laughs> I, I think we've lost one uh... fan to the other guy. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Well, well, our endeavor has not been concluded. You will not escape our will. You already caught up? Yeah, those are high level opponents. Do not fight them. Run through the teleporter. We can sense your fear, your every step. Your escape is futile. Something, something bored. This is futile. Okay, so they, they will kill us in one hit. Luckily, yep. save points are that of each door, it seems. Yep. Beginning of each room. No, no, you don't. Jump over to the container, girl. You. Bye bye. Damn, how are we gonna get... Uh, how are we gonna pass this one? Wait, I got an idea. What are you... Oh. <laughs> Carla, instant matter builder at your service. Uh, and I fell down because I was checking their text. <laughs> hey, you still made it. <laughs> Here we are again. Time for you to leave this party. Come on, sweetie. This isn't the time for tearful goodbyes. Definitely not now. Besides, <laughs> they are those guys. Goodbye, Liam. Enjoy Crossworlds. And chapter one done. You done, pile of instant matter. Stop putting your trash all over this ship. This ain't gonna go nowhere. Are they set the stalemate? Yep, we did it. But he almost got us. There are probably some enemies left down in the cargo hold. But an even more trash in the cargo hold? Okay, that's it. Playtime is over. Crew, activate the neutralizer. You? You're meddling with matters that are not of your concern. This is my ship. That was like you messing with my ship are on the bloody top of my list of concerns. I said it before, I'll say it again. This cargo hold is not part of the bloody playground. Okay, sweeper boy, uh, you wanna climb, <laughs> try climbing up here? <laughs> what the bloody hell was all that about? Okay. Uh, it's it's, so, it's a bit less hard. Uh, it's a bit less hard light and more like, yeah, instant matter as a sort of a substitute that can be neutralized like that. Disrupted. Hmm. We did, it, Liam. I still cannot believe what just happened on the MS Solar. Anyway, we are we are now in the official playground. This area is packed with all kinds of security measures. More interference from that blue individual is highly unlikely here. For now, let's just proceed. This is Rumba Square. 
Pardon? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, just gotta hate it when that burp gets stuck in your throat, huh? Yeah. yeah. Almost as bad as when it goes up your nose. <laughs> oh, I, ha I had that happen. <laughs> so much. Yeah. Uh, Russ is really about to have a hiccup and a burp at the same time. Yeah. That's <laughs> more precisely Newcomer's Bridge. This is a new official introduction to Crossworlds. I placed you right in front of the last part. It is important that we do this part the official way to avoid suspicion. So basically, he skipped it. <laughs> he skipped the other tutorials for us. <laughs> Hello. Oh yeah. Speaking of suspicion, listen, Leah. It is absolutely essential that you pass as a regular player. You must avoid being reported at any cost. Okay, what is going on then? Hi. Uh, yes. <laughs> Probably the most sarcastic hi we'll ever hear. Do not worry too much about your speech synchronization issues. You are in fact not the first player with these problems. Anyway, just be careful, okay? Mm -hmm. So... There is a character coming up in the near future if we get to that point that I think Drakir should voice. Okay. Oh. Reason? <laughs> Let's just say I think your voice would be a good fit. Uh, no, okay, really now we've got me curious. <laughs> Did we Did just say that? Just... This... <laughs> hmm? I think we just said it's this exact same thing at the same time. AGAIN! Uh, it has gotten worse over the, the months. From one word to a short phrase, no, to almost entire sentences. Uh, what the heck, kill? It's, it's like how people say that all uh, orange cats show one brain cell, but... Wait, but... <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but just in case... Okay. Congratulations on reaching the, uh, the third stage of Newcomer's Bridge. You have just arrived at the final waiting area. You can take a break here and enjoy the view. Once you are ready, proceed to the teleporter at the other end of this area to enter the final stage. So, uh, most of these players here should be newcomers just like you. Veterans usually skip this part, obviously. Also, couldn't we just get, uh, couldn't we, someone just get Leah an etch sketch or a notepad and pen for her to communicate? Okay. Yes. Oh, Any secrets in around here? Okay. They have their do not disturb mode on, it seems. This is seriously high up. Yeah, good thing they added those laser railings. Yeah, I gotta love lasers. Movement blocking lasers. The best type of laser there is. <laughs> Come on, there's no need to be afraid. You know I can't deal with heights. It's all just a game, there's no danger, you know? I know, it, it just feels surreal. Just give me some time, okay? Alright. Hey, yeah. <laughs> I, I've got the same thing with games sometimes, or rather, more in a game when you're falling down, like in Mirror's Edge or such. You definitely get the feeling that uh, your body is just going, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> but okay, that just makes it the mark of a good game, I'd say. I feel like there's something a bit discord of late. Hmm? But again, several. Uh, a few seconds of you talking, you disappear. Yep. Okay. Weird. But it, even you heard it and noticed that. Yep. Hmm. I even yeah. noticed it, it, it ignored some part of me talking even now. Now I said that I can relate to 
that character's thing about height. Like, as long as I have been able to have the height better than others, but I hmm. absolutely hate to do jumping puzzles that takes place over black pit or in the sky and such. Okay. There, there was something... I think there was something similar, or actually that shouldn't have been with Discord. Um, is in Sonic Adventure, our first stream of that, our only stream of that so far, I'm pretty sure when we were in the sewer bit that we both made a joke about City 11 sewer counter, but when I ran, checked over the recording afterwards, there wasn't any. Yeah, I was not imagining it. Okay. <laughs> Hmm, there is something to keep in mind, so there, there can just be bits of dial of us talking completely missing for some random reason. Yeah, hmm. like, first time I thought it was just my connection being a bit poor, since it, that game did I had some yellow dot come up. I have had zero yellow warning during this stream. Hmm. Okay, I might need to go look into a separate program for recording audio from us then, if there are going to be bits missing. Like, I, I don't check over the entirety of our streams, because it's it's two hours. That's quite a bit to check uh, before rendering. Uh, yeah, but I do I still it's... glance at highlights, and yeah, it's... Hmm. Gotta wonder how much else goes missing then. It is new, I can tell you that. It's hmm. new. Like, I think it started uh, like two, three weeks ago on very rare occasion. I haven't okay. thought about it. Just um, recently, I just started to notice it more. Yeah, the, the weird thing is that even if, even if it doesn't get onto Discord, it should still be recorded by the OBS since that's a separate program. Yeah. Hmm. So it's if so what the Discord is affecting. All three of us. I mean, he actually happened with uh, this earlier, even. Mm. Could be. Definitely need to look into that. Just, hmm. It can't. It can't be the new OBS updates because I only did that after Sonic Adventure, so it wasn't that. So maybe. Hmm. It definitely needs to be looked into then. Maybe it's yeah. Maybe it's part of one of the Discord's updates that are having a bit of a. Issue. True, but again, that shouldn't affect OBS since the audio was missing from there as well, from both my camera, or from my mic and yours. Yeah. Hmm. yeah this is strange, ain't it? Yeah. Hi! Oh, hey, what's up? Mm. Mm, what's the matter? Mm. Where's the greeting by silence? You're a strange one. Sorry, that came across the wrong way. You must be here for the view. <laughs> Gorgeous, right? Crossworlds expands over the whole land you can see over there. People call it the croissant because <laughs> it's shaped like one. <laughs> uh, to be fair, people would name stuff like that just to be stupid with it. <laughs> Dear Seekers, we are about to enter the final stage of Newcomer's Bridge. You will be confronted with a multitude of puzzle and combat situations. Make use of all the skills you've learned in the previous stages. Expect your skill set to be further expanded over the course of the final stage. As a reward for passing Newcomer's Bridge, you'll be granted access to the mainland. Let's see... Yep. Let's go. Hold on. Didn't see you there. Okay, I had a feeling the moment they started moving that this was the orange-haired character you were talking about. <laughs> Hi. Uh, bonjour. You are new here, too? Mm-hmm. Hmm. But I have not noticed you up here before. Oh, does this mean you caught up after me? Mm-hmm. Huh. You must be very quick with the tutorials. But I got the hang of it now, too. You will not beat me on the last tutorial stage, no? Let's meet at the end. I will be waiting. 
Au revoir. Very competitive, this one. <laughs> okay, I, I, I like that. Uh, it's clear that she's French, but they didn't overdo it, like in the which like a Swahon law or something, like to the point of parody. Uh, did, did you read Sergei's text? I think I did, yeah. yeah very, I said very competitive, this is one. Alright, it's again. Hmm. Alright, yeah, they, I ignored you this time again. Let's see, that's weird. Hmm. I, I guess I'll have to keep a better track, uh, keep an eye on the microphone audio bar to see. Maybe it's the mic overloading or something and shutting down of it for a second? Huh. All three of us? Yeah, like a sound filter or a, do you have uh, automatic uh, input detection on on Discord? Uh, wait, give me a second. Here's, here's a problem. If that fear is true, then all three of us would have it. Fair enough, yeah. This can't Please. be the case. It, it... Uh, da -da -da, settings. I'm gonna guess oh. maybe something with Discord. Uh, mm -hmm. Voice yeah, and video. Inputs. Voice activity. Automatically determine input sen sensitivity. Is that the one you talked about? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's like, uh, uh, cause like in the past I've had a lot of issues issues with like uh, automatically uh, detecting input sensitivity and that sort of thing. But that's probably something to mess with post stream. Okay, I'm going to turn it off for now. Move this back and go back here. Okay. Now, who are you? Dang, I can barely see a thing. You should totally choose a short avatar, they said. <laughs> They'd be so cute, they said. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> You're in the same boat, huh? <laughs> okay, that is something... <laughs> that is something they don't tell you about in virtual reality games with a short avatar. Ocean as far as the eye can see. <laughs> now that we're on this distant moon... It makes you wonder what kind of sea life you'd find down there. Hell yeah, do you think we can just jump down into the water with our avatars and explore? More like explode. I heard avatars are not at all that water resistant. Okay. Hey, yeah, so, yeah. if you like to! So we are not on Earth! Nope. Yeah, actually, I don't think anyone has said anything about us being on Earth. Plus there was also I that also... big fucking moon in the, in the horizon. I was earlier! I wonder if you're on a different planet, or still on Earth. And, uh, yeah, Liz said we're still on Earth. No, yeah. I didn't. We're not on another <laughs> planet. I did not. I said no such thing. I don't know what you're talking about. I can hear that on your tone, you little <laughs> gremlin. <laughs> Let's see. I said that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Please step on the red teleport panel to enter the final stage. Rumbus Dungeon 3. The, the Rumbus is an area of the brain, I believe. Hmm? And who's so green hair of, there? It's a type of, uh, it's a type of, uh, shape. Okay. Because of the whole shape feeling. Okay, because there's also that uh, VR game from Psychonauts, uh, Rumbus of Ruin. Hmm. Oh, they've added a welcome sign. Very hospital. Yeah, very hospitable. Are you looking for that red hat panther fist from before? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Well, I'm afraid you will not find her here. You see, its player is placed into a separate instance of these rooms. Mm -hmm. You will find plenty of puzzles ahead. You really would not want other players to interfere around here. So it is all about who will be the fastest by themselves, right? <laughs> okay, I, I like how they're actually using game stuff accurately. Alright, Leah, I will be gone for a couple of minutes. I will contact Jet and Carla and try to investigate that blue individual. I'm sure you will be fine by yourself. See you later. I really Hi. have to work on your vocabulary. Okay, simple little switch puzzle with these. Hmm. That's going to be too high up for us to hit, yep. Okay. 
So instead, we just jump over, hit it, and there we go. Okay. <laughs> so this is all about figuring it out ourselves. Let's... Hmm. Oh dear, oh dear. There we go. Yay! <laughs> okay, I, I do like it when games actually trust their player to be able to figure things out themselves. Just wait. The puzzles get pretty fucking insane in this game later on. Nope. Most friends uh, for you here. But yeah. It shows that uh, it shows that developers respect their players by not just hand, holding their hand the whole time. Yep. Yeah, to always say, we always be a struggle to make sure that it is not too noticeable, but still noticeable for the player. For Quick menu. We haven't seen it, but they done it in the case where it's uh, you go, how the heck is someone supposed to figure that out? Uh, and, now, <laughs> and now I'm thinking about that uh, game quote-unquote journalist with Cupheads who just couldn't <laughs> figure out how to get past an obstacle even though it was written right on the freaking wall behind him. I just think, <laughs> think back to, oh, let's see. A soul Reaver on a certain level, you were stuck for almost an entire episode. Yeah. That was before. I, that was more when I was a viewer before I joined. Yeah. Okay. Trigger for the quick menu. Consume items. Open the map. Investigate. Inspect the environment. Okay. And a fourth option. Sandwich. And green leaf tea. I take that, please. Let's see, a chest, some yummy sandwiches were inside. A chest, two green leaf teas were inside. Okay. Hey, do you pick them up? Yep. You just pick things up automatically when you open chests. Ah. And the lights. Oop. Gunners this time. Wrong button. Need the shoulder ones. Okay, can't really interrupt these from shooting, it seems. You have to hit them with a charge shot to interrupt them. Yeah. So the melee attack doesn't interrupt everything. Nope. There. Okay, again, showing through example. Um, there we go. <laughs> yeah. That's just a, a core of game you know, design that is really that should be basic knowledge. That if you are going to introduce something or a, a variant on something, and we're going to get pushed off, uh, you have to do it. You have to well show, not tell, or preferably to a degree both. That you give us an example. Uh, put up, for example, if you put a new, uh, if you run into a new type of enemy. Put your care. Put the player with one of them in a room for the moment, so they can get a feeling of a, get a feeling of a, what they do and such, and how dangerous they may or may not be. Same and, with uh, new mechanics. You, it uh, cut off for you there again. Okay, weird. And yeah. hello in chat, Marco. I, I'm gonna guess it might be something on Discord's end. That they maybe whatever thing they use for our voice channels to work mm. might have some issues. Maybe. But yeah, in case it got cut off there, hello there in chat, Marco. <laughs> Crosscode, <laughs> I love this game. <laughs> it, it, it's one of my favorites too. <laughs> okay, how are you doing, Marco? And yeah, definitely loving this game so far. 
Так. Attacking from both sides now. Making us spread our attention. Or just focus one side down. Let's see. Marco just got here from school. Okay. Hmm. There we go. It's one up. Now for the other one. Okay. Okay, and then... Wait, I just realized, you said that you, two, you said the CV11 yoke did not get recorded, correct? Yep. Yes, but I you... was able to hear that! Okay, that, that just adds another layer of weirdness to everything that I'll need to look into. Hmm. Very weird. Curiouser and curiouser. Uh, let's see, for a computer technician major... Uh, you'd think that would be more programming. Nope, it's just, it's a bunch of math. <laughs> there and there. Seven targets. Four more. Nope. Hey. Maybe, but maybe you have had issues with mics in the past and all that, but they usually seem to be temporarily. So hopefully, whatever it is is going on is just a temporary thing. Hopefully. Uh, oh, now I had a yellow dot. Hmm. Yeah, I'll definitely have to ask around about that some. Hmm. Yeah, let's see, I'm telling you right now, the melee ain't worth it. Okay. The end disagreement, then. my favorite way to play. <laughs> <Back when. laughs> I'm back. And back. Oh, hi. <laughs> Greetings from Jet and Carla. Everything is back to normal on the MS Solar. There are no traces left of that blue individual. And yeah, just just in case everyone was questioning still, the reason we had to get off was if <laughs> Leah would have gotten nuked as well. Let's see. I also tried to find out some information about him, but there is nothing. I can be pretty certain that he is not connected to the official game. Just cannot imagine a regular player leaving Crossworlds and going on a rampage like this. Something very strange is going on here. Not to mention that he recognized you. Your memory might, in fact, contain some answers to all this. Anyway, there's no need to worry about this right now. Our goal is simply to play Crossworlds. And I see you've made a lot of progress already. So, onwards. Uh, 22. And a new upgrade. I'm guessing we'll find a, a. I'm guessing we'll find all of these upgrades on the uh, on the pedestals like this, or rising floors, bits like this. The character yeah, menu. Not a character. Yes. Oh, okay. I think I know what's going on. Who? I think it might be like for the internet itself. Okay. Or Let's see. Both machines will use the internet in some way, don't they? True, but the recording for OBS and such, uh, that should be local. So there should no that shouldn't have any effect on that. Let's see, equip items. Hmm. Again, hopefully this is just one of those other oddities we've seen that just disappear after a while. But we have had many of those. Let's see. Equipment. Rookie hats. Rookie blade, of which we actually have two. Yeah, because so, uh, there's one in each hand. Okay. 
<laughs> so we're doing oh, learning now? Yep. Yeah. Heal is happy. Heal is happy. Yes. Do hello. Wait, is it, is it dual okay. willy chakra? Yes. Dual willy chakrams. Me? Yes, I call it a chakra for they kind of remind me of chakrams. Circular blades. And they're probably supposed to be like that. Yeah. Alright, then we start to give experience at this point. The the bigger one? You're supposed to throw a chakra? Yep. Charging up like that, you can hit him with the uh, with the uh, charge bullet to uh, uh, knock them down. Okay. There we go. And we we've been getting experience for a bit now already. And another level: plus one CP, plus five max health, and plus one focus. Where do you reach level three? That is strange. I thought you were supposed to reach level two at this point. I suppose they may have added more enemies. Wait, maybe we could we have gotten an no? Could we have gotten experience from a? <clears throat> could we have gotten experience from the fights on the ship as well? Uh, let's see, Marco. I'm telling you right now, the melee is worth it. I remember that there is a DLC that give you gave you a male skin for the player character. Uh, uh, yeah, experience from the crab boss. Uh, so that's so the male character. So that was an a uh, uh, a April Fool's prank, uh, where uh, they made a uh, a uh, uh, joke skit about choosing your character's gender, and it was uh, manly, <laughs> uh, or manly. Uh, uh, and then they ended up making that an actual, like, character skin. And it's the greatest <laughs> thing ever. You can also dress up as a ninja. Incoming. Hmm? Yeah, just reading out. Is that? Yep, that's a turret. I think they were also reading out Hamel. Yeah. Oh, oh, we can. Okay, we can distract it with that. Start range modes. Okay, for that, yeah. Okay, not having much luck with the dodging so far. It's tricky to get the timing sometimes. Yeah. Shield modes. Going forth, Edaka. More Edaka. More. Dodged into that. Balls for the ball pants. <laughs> okay. I, I might have some trouble with ooh, some of the ranged battles like this because I have a hard time keeping track of both my character and uh, it. I have trouble keeping track of where I'm moving and my own and my targets. Okay. Cool, it's there. Let's see. Interesting the way that you uh, uh, the way that you've been breaking because that's not actually uh, the way. Well, that's not the way I uh, broke the shields on him. Okay, we can still get hit by that. Doing the little cuts and bits. So. Yeah. Okay. 
They also leave themselves wide open during that attack. Mm -hmm. yep. Okay, shield modes. There we go. I never figured that out before. <laughs> Did you, yeah, you can shoot it in the ass. Uh, so it wasn't, so Marco, it wasn't actually made by two people, it was made by a team of, I think, either three or four. Uh, yeah, uh, I think Radical Fish at the time of making this game was like a four-person team. Alright. Uh, a lot of people will work on this. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Okay, challenging but fair. Yep, master yeah. of turrets. Defeat the Rumbus Heavy Turret 2.0. <laughs> and another level. Nice oh, work, four. you did great. Yay! And onwards. Let me guess, we beat the other one to, the, <laughs> to this. That's going to piss her off. Ready for one big upgrade? No oh, bigger platform. Yep. You ready for this? Circuits. You, this is a sphere grid. Yep. Uh, <laughs> skill tree. <laughs> okay. Yep. Okay. Holy. Activate circuits using CP earned with each level up. Okay. So we can choose to specialize. Certain skills unlock combat arts that can be used in battle. You can switch between branching skills at any time without spending CP. Okay, so wait, is it exclusive on which side? Let's see. You now get special uh, points, SP, for using the combat arts. Okay, and that's going to be the more you use it, the better you, the stronger it becomes. Mm hmm. Let's see. Yeah, please wait for a second. I have a little upgrade for you as well. I finally managed to add another word to your vocabulary. Oh, you know where it is. No shiny effects for me. <laughs> Just the upgrades. Here it goes. <laughs> we, have, we can say our own lane. <laughs> Let's see. I think you will need this one, since I will not be able to introduce you to other people anymore. Leah! Hi! Hi, hi, Leah! <laughs> We're basically a Pokemon at this point with our vocabulary. Hi, Leah! Hi! <laughs> Don't look at me like that. I know, it takes a long time to add these words. It's a very involved process, actually. I need to manually extract your thought control model, essentially modifying a, a, a yeah, statistically generated code based uh, by hand. <laughs> yes, it's very technical. The technology to control avatars is, well, complicated. And that is an understatement. Anyway, the second word is done. I will work on the next one right away. Yeah. So, I don't, I don't think it's possible to beat Amelia through this one, but you can race her through all the other dungeons. Okay, yep, there she is. She was breathing heavily. It looked like. <laughs> Told you, I would be. Told you, I would be first. I'm sorry, I blanked for a moment there. That you get the voice act them. Also, let me actually check chat. Uh, let's see if I remember correctly. This was made by two people. Please do correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't played this game in a few months. Now we're gonna see the nerd everyone hates. I was addicted to mixing this out during my first playthrough. The next words you get, uh, yeah, no, no spoilers, uh, yeah, Marco. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Ah, oui, but wasn't that fun? I was very surprised by that boss at the end. Mm -hmm. Uh, pardon, I didn't even introduce myself. 
is Je m'appelle Emilia. I think I pronounced that right. Nickname, <laughs> Emilianator. <laughs> I think it said Emily or em I don't, Emily. I don't, I don't actually Mike. know. <laughs> it's Emily. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it, it's it said like uh, the the Greek eye at the end uh, of the alphabet. I don't know. I just always <laughs> pronounce him. <laughs> oh, it's genius, right? So, um, what's your name? Leah. Leah, nice to meet you. <laughs> So, are you ready to take the sky rails? <laughs> yeah. I wish we could already explore the city itself, but no. Hmm? Didn't you know? The sky rail will take you straight to Cross Central. From there, you'll be transported to the mainland. You'll only be able to enter Rhombus Square much later. Mm. We... it sucks, I know. You over there! <laughs> <laughs> yes, you, the blue hat Spheromancer. Hi? Before you just appeared out of nowhere, suspicious. And what do I see now? You're at level four. And this is unheard of. I'm forced to assume you, young lady, have been cheating. Huh? What? Monsieur, going straight for the accusation. How can you be so sure about it? Just because you are stuck at level three doesn't mean... Impossible. No player on record has ever reached level 4 at this point. Young lady, surely I don't need to explain to you the faults of such actions. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. <laughs> is that all you have to say? Oh, oh dear, what is going on here? Did we just get the attention of a mo <laughs> admin? Jordan, I have exposed this cheater here. And now you're lecturing her? Yes, about the wrongness of her actions. How about no? What? I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't know you. Come on! Apologies for my friend's behavior. He sometimes pretends to be a moderator. He is not. I'm pretty sure that itself is considered a bannable offense often. Yeah, no problem. Hmm. Young lady, I'll, I'll let you off this time. <laughs> Reflect on your actions. Okay, you wanna be Phoenix, right? Just wait till you learn his name. <laughs> okay. Oh, gee. Right, I, had, I had to say something. Mm -hmm. His tiny picture form actually more badass than his up close form we see here. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh. Okay, let's continue on then. <clears throat> well, dear, yes. what was the deal with him? <sighs> I hope we don't meet players like this all around here too often. Anyway, let's go on. I want to finally reach Rookie Harbor. You can come with me if you want to. Mm -hmm. Très bien. Let's go. I'm sure I'm butchering these French pronunciations. Oh, my heart just stopped it. There for a second. That was close. It's all because you collected those extra EXP from that crab boss. Yeah. <laughs> I should have noticed this earlier. Sorry. Dear Seekers, you are now permitted to enter the mainland of Shadoon. You can take the Sky Roads from here to reach Cross Central, our central teleportation hub. Note that as new Seekers, you are not yet permitted to enter the city of Rumbus Square. 
So the permission will be granted once you have an, uh, sufficient uh, progress along the tracks of the ancients. You look puzzled. Do you want to know more about the track of the ancients? Mm -hmm. The track of the ancients is an ancient assessment system based on a highly advanced technology. As secret is, it, it is your task to walk the track and discover all the secrets it holds. Once you reach Rookie Harbor, you can attend the introductory briefing to learn more about it. Okay. Now, Skywell Terminals will bring you uh, to Cross Central. You can take any one of them, they all go to the same place. Okay, there's multiple in position for... Oh, hey, it's there, he's the again. No floor, there's no floor. Oh dear. He just flies through the air. <laughs> it's so transparent. That, that can't do it. Oh man. Please stay strong. Just this one last time. I'm sure things will be better once we reach the mainland. Where do we get the feeling we're going to run into those two repeatedly? Uh, uh, oh. He's a little bit something. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Da, da, da. Now, damn, I passed out after my last message and just woke up like, uh, looks like I missed basically the entire stream. Not most of it. Uh, oh, also there in chat. Sticky Atrio? The purple makes it a bit. No, Citriatric. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Citriatric. Hope you enjoy the show. There, enjoy the show. And let me look at the timer. Uh, we are almost at two hours, yeah. But I would be willing to go a bit longer than usual since we started early. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, like, I want to at least make it to the point where, uh, we introduce the next major character because he's very funny. Anyways, <laughs> okay. you, know, you can go ahead. Just take any of those Skyrail terminals. Uh -huh. Okay, here we go. I should put this. This is the first time Liz is co hosting with us. Yeah. Yep. That was fun. Can't wait to reach the mainland. As you can Crossing. see here, she's very excited. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> These are some of my all-time favorite fictional characters. Let's see. Dear Seekers, welcome to the Cross Central. Hmm. This is the central teleportation hub for this of, of this world. From here, you will be able to quickly travel to our location. <laughs> we have reached the mainland. Note that new recruits will only be able to travel to Rookie Harbor at first. You will visit several locations in your travel if we already asked about that, so I'm presuming it's the same. Hmm? As per advisor NPCs, just explaining the same thing over and over again. You know that those NPCs are actually artificial intelligences, right? Are you serious? Yeah, it's hard to tell at the beginning, but you will notice eventually. Their interactions with players are somewhat limited. Man, we've come pretty far with AI research, haven't we? Sure, yet we still have trouble passing the Turing tests. Hi. Hey there, can we help you? Mm. Um. Oh, are you wondering about the Turing test? Oh, you're a curious one. I like that. The Turing test is quite simple. We have two people who write each other via text. They're writing each other uh, via text. The twist, one of them is actually a machine. If the actual person can tell from the conversation that the other person is a machine, you fail the Turing test. Yep, named mm. after Alan Turing. It's difficult because it's not just some simulating... Uh, not, it's not just about simulating natural language. The machine needs to have a memory, general knowledge, and many other things to properly respond like a human being would. Hmm. Okay, I get. Why do I get the feeling that's going to be coming up at some point as well? That's <clears throat> no comment. <laughs> okay. Uh, does, how how are you doing, uh, CK Arctic? Are we doing well? <clears throat> oh, it's you from Newcomers Bridge again. Hi. Look, we're getting closer to the mainland. If you look closely, you can already see Rookie Harbor on the horizon. Ooh. It looks like your standard uh, starter village, where you go slay rats and such. Anything hidden around? Yeah, let's see. Marco, 
Fun fact, Alan Turing was gay. He was in a relation with a man who ended up robbing him. Okay, now, I'm, from what I remember, uh, the government also didn't treat him too well after... Was it after yeah, World War II? Yeah, they found out. Or some... Yeah. Uh. Oh, yeah. Uh. Cross Central. Okay, this is the teleportation zone. This way. Rookie Harbor. The character that I think your Kirishid voice is coming up here. Okay. Chapter 2 complete. Landmarks and teleportation. How to use landmarks for fast travel. Let's check this out. Okay. You can teleport to landmarks by selecting them within the map menu. You can also switch to the world view map. The world, the world map view. Here you can move to other areas you visited before. Okay. Fantastic! Right, uh, right at the sea, just like they said. The city should be right up ahead. Go! Go! <laughs> yeah, she's definitely energetic. Let's see, Marco, that is also true. I had to do a presentation about him so I know quite a bit of his life. Okay. Hello. Hey, Blue Earth Girl. Hi. Crossworld is full of bizarre and cool things. Hmm? I hope you enjoy your stay. Never give up. Okay, so a greeter character? A greeter NPC? I was in it before. Hmm. Can we... Yep. Yoink. <laughs> Spicy Did buns. This the last time I played this. Hmm. This just means that they've still been... They're still... Or they were still working on this game up until a certain point, perhaps, or maybe still. Uh, yeah. Well, apparently... like, there was a period of time where they were still progressively adding to it. I never actually beat my playthrough after that. Okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, apparently, according to Marco, they were only able to speak with uh, him last time they played. Yeah, I just read that up as well. Hey, over here. Look at all these old-style buildings. It's like we're in some kind of medieval fantasy world, no? So right now, I'm waiting here to meet a friend. But I haven't seen him so far. There are just so many people here. <laughs> well, there are. Uh, this, is, this is the character I think would be funny to have voiced by Dirk here. Probably because I know that last letter, unlike him. <laughs> well, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Good God. Now I see why. Sakura Blue, was that really necessary? Yes, very necessary. <laughs> I see you brought a friend. Ah, we, oui, that's Leah. I met her during the tutorial. Hi. And this Dark Lord lady here is Lucas. <laughs> also known as Schneider. <laughs> Why am I having an accent here? Most <laughs> immediately, Leah. Here's the German words. So you finally reached the croissant, haven't So you finally reached the croissant. Having fun so far? We I I do not know how to pronounce that word. Uh Erno means I am a very uh, immense. I'm, I'm pretty sure it means uh, immensely. <laughs> Is it tight? <laughs> Wait, croissant? The mainland! You will get the idea once you see the map. Anyway, this is Rookie Harbor. It's known for the incoming shipments of rookies like you. It's also a fairly big place, which tends to be confusing for said rookies. <laughs> so I thought I'd give you a small tour. Bloody, I'm nailing it. I f I'm not killing my fruit this time, if you like. <laughs> Because yeah, you're mostly doing your normal voice. <laughs> I am. 
Was für ein Schulverbot so Lotz? There we go. That's the timer going off, but we can go a bit longer. Yeah, we can give 30 minutes, more minutes. All right, let's see. Mm -hmm. First step, info building. <laughs> if you really want to dig into all it is of course worlds, this is your place. Combat art, skills, and all the stats from A to C, you name it. Oh, that's the nerd hub, right? <laughs> Yo, people call it that. <laughs> I, I I almost started to say that in Swedish because of that first word. <laughs> Frankly, it's a good thing to know about all that stuff. But it's not mandatory. It's just a place to go back to whenever you're confused about something. Let's move on. By the way, Emilinator, nice one. I know, what's Schneider supposed to be? <laughs> and three bladder, cutting things. What? Not not worth explaining. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> Alright, next up, the town center. <laughs> Oh, is that a market over there? Yep! Oh, good gosh, that's the sweetest thing! Oh, that's why, you little gremlin! Yep! You will find most of the traders around here. Well, they are all over the place, to be frank. Those traders, uh, those traders offer pretty good equipment. The cats, you first need to collect all the requirement. To th mm. The cats, you first need to collect all the required trade items in the wild. It takes time, but it's worth it. Far out is another important building. This way! To the Gremlin Recycler! <laughs> Landmark Rhombus Fountain. See that building up there? That's the Seeger Hub or Quest Hub. Surprise? Uh, did cut you out there? Because you just seem to stop after surprise. Uh, oh, surprise! Surprise, you will find a lot of quests there. Okay. <laughs> Oh, no, now it's moving again. I, I was wondering if I was like, having lag here. Okay, Just like weird. in many other places in town and elsewhere. Uh, let me chat, chat for a second. Uh, look at the world map and you see it's the, uh, you see it's the croissants. Uh, ta -ta. This place is a shit out of side quest too. Also, idle animations. I heard you commenting about them before. There's a bonus code to add on the, on the title screen. Uh, okay. Uh, that shopkeeper is sure excited jumping in place. <laughs> okay, as long as that code is no spoiler or such, feel free to share it, uh, Arctic, if I may call you that. <clears throat> All those quests are optional, but the rewards usually makes it worth it. Uh, worthwhile. <laughs> hey, Leah, are you still with us? Wee, oui, she's a quiet one. <laughs> but she was really fast at the tutorial, almost beat me to it. Well, like they say, stay water run deep, right? Wee oui, wee, oui. what about the main quest? We keep talking about the track of the ancients. Oh right, I almost forgot about that. You'll have to enter the quest hub anyway. There's a mandatory introduction for all new players. 
Jimmy explained all about it there. So you just you go in right away and just get it over with. And just wait here. Another word I don't know how to pronounce. The cord. The cord. The cord. Let's go, Leah. I don't know French. I just like Adelia as a char uh, as a character. Okay. Let's see. Only recruits, please go to the upper floor for the introductory briefing. And let let's see. Is there a way that I can? Okay. <laughs> Arctic says that there's a code for Caramel Danson. Oh no, Caramel Danson. Yes, yeah. that's that's a Swedish one. Do you want it? I think it's, do you want me to remind you the translation for that? Yeah, uh, go ahead. Translation for that. The caramel dance. <laughs> okay. Uh, exactly what it says in the tin. Okay, so is the code just caramel dancing, or is it a specific code to unlock it instead? And after we're done, uh, after, before we quit, we'll go put that code in and see what happens. I've never actually seen that before. I didn't know it existed. <laughs> oh, you! Look at this. Let's see. Main title, just in it as is. Okay, I'll keep a note of that. Welcome to Operation Trackwalker, recruits. This briefing serves as an introduction to the history of this place and the nature of our cause. We are currently located on the natural satellite Shadun. This place was once inhabited by intelligent life forms that we refer to as the Ancients. While the Ancients ceased to exist a long time ago, they left behind a technological heritage to their home. The Track of the Ancients. Originally, it served as an assessment of social standing within the Ancients' culture. It is a technological marvel, a highly advanced and self-sufficient system that remains intact to this day. It wasn't long after mankind arrived on Shadoon that we realized its value. Thus, we initiated Operation Trackwalker. We augmented the track so that humanity might walk it as well. And that is where you come in, new recruits. Together with the... <laughs> Leah's just going, ooh, ah, uh, wow. <laughs> oh. I, I like it when the characters still react to things instead of just staring blankly. <laughs> Together with the other Seekers, you will start the journey along the track of the Ancients. Your paths will be paved with obstacles, but every step you take will further our cause. Discovering the secrets of the Ancients. Your, ta your main task will be the collection of four elements, heat, cold, shock, and wave. Beginning with the, first ele with the element heat, your first de yeah, destination will be the village of Bergen. To reach it, you need to pass the western barrier of Rookie Harbor. I will now give you your first shade to grant you passage to the west. That's mm -hmm. not another Swedish word. Okay. Mm. It, it literally just mean the mountain. <laughs> okay. <laughs> or the, the mountains. Let's see. Finally, I will give you the Disc of Insights. This device will record all of the knowledge you encounter on your journey. Okay. That's the best theory. <laughs> that is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. Like, I, I like that the game, we're, we're dealing with a multi-layered story here, as in the story of the game, and the story of the game in the game. Yep. Or less wow, it's not a story. <laughs> Suddenly I was in the middle of space and this old geezer kept talking to me. Same for you? Mm -hmm. I suppose they wanted to pep up the boring introduction, no? We oui, wait, oui, track of the ancients it is. Let's go back. Lucas is waiting. Uh, yeah, this game is definitely meta, Marco. <laughs> and in a fun way, not in an obnoxious Rick and Morty way. 
By the way, Leah, I took the liberty of adding a few more entries to your encyclopedia. For example, all past events and, per and people we've met so far. And a few insights on the technology, of course. But I just like to organize things. <laughs> Monster Fibula? Okay. <laughs> In this room you can read more about the history of Shadoon and Operation Trackwalker. That's quite a lot. I will not be surprised <laughs> that a game is a cover and they're actually tricky people to help them uncover actual ancient technology. <laughs> Uh, not spoiling anything. Hmm? I'm not spoiling anything. <laughs> That's you just were did, highly... you! <laughs> that, the, the thing with not spoiling is they, they can lie all they want to us, and we would never know until we hit the point. <laughs> him, him, him. <laughs> we all know this gremlin is a horrible liar. Or am uh, I? Dun, dun, dun. Well, you did, you did fall for some of my lies when we were you, know, you were asking things about games that are going to be played. <laughs> Let's see. The ancients were a highly advanced humanoid society that lived on Shadoon approximately 10,000 years ago. For unknown reasons, they left this planet. Only a few native tribes remained. The descendants of those tri these tribes are known to us as the Shard. Okay. Hmm. I might check. I, I like that they actually make things feel like an actual MMO in this as well. Yep. I'll check those out some yeah. other time, maybe. And shot. Come on, I want to go. I almost got it. You already said that five minutes ago. Blame that messed up search interface. People having trouble with the search engines. Oh, hello. <laughs> Ooh. What's this? I see Poison some people using before. Uh, the yeah, do you see in the corner certain height afraid person? <laughs> height afraid. <laughs> That's the wrong yeah. term. <laughs> yeah, there are some doubles here and there, but I I would not be surprised if that was them. Or maybe these two here? Green Seeker, I see you have you completed the introduction to Operation Trackwalker. To become the best seeker you can be, like no one has was before, we host uh, a famous teacher here in Rookie Harbor, Master Sensei. <laughs> really? Master Master? <laughs> sensei Sensei? That's... that's... This game is very uh... silly. He can teach you everything you need to know and more. Once you have mastered both the heat and cold, uh, game got unselected by something. Yeah, it's still that still happens every now and then. So I still need to figure out what the hell is causing that as well. Mm. Uh, once you have mastered both the heat and cold elements, please find him in Rookie Harbor in Fohab Dojo. Uh, uh, let's talk to them. Uh, were you able to talk even? No, only the NPC. And right. I, I think I'll avoid all the side quest stuff for the moment. Let's see. You look confused, Seeker. What you see here is the bulletin board. You can use it to see open quests in this area. <clears throat> if you want to know more about quests, I suggest you talk to my fellow advisors at the court counter over there. Okay. But yeah, there's definitely there's actually ju one jumping around in there. So, how was it, Leia? Enjoying being in, in, uh, enjoying being in space? Well, now you should understand your task being a part of Track Walker and all. Let's go to the west now. The wide west. By the way, Leia, Beermanson? That's surprising. They are pretty unpopular. Don't ask why, me, me why they are fine balance-wise. What a fits. They're awesome, right? Yep. And I shouldn't imagine in any other... Yep. 
Bring it up, up, please. Um, yup, and I could imagine in. What? Yup, and I could imagine you in any other class. There we go. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I will. I will grab this. I will grab the side quest eventually, Marco. It's just for now. I'm just focusing down the main story with this stream. When we uh, yeah. continue with this next time, then I will go collect side quests and play those as well. Yeah, uh, for people wondering, yep is just Swedish for yep. <laughs> So yeah. I feel like once we access the uh, once we access the first actual zone, that should that would probably be a good stopping point. Okay, well, we have some 50 minutes left. So let's see. It's uh, you can't tell when out he'll be lying, so I can just lead you the wrong way. <laughs> of course, we're in a random direction. Finally, hmm. this is the western part of town. Of the town, sorry. In this shop, here you can buy consumable items. Keep the phone in the Further down, you will find a armory with basic equipment. And when you continue to the west from here, you will enter Autumn's Rise. You will find a lot of enemies along the way. Be careful not to take on too many hedgehogs at I think you cut out there because it's. <laughs> what? It, the last I heard was hedgehogs at. Same. I noticed that my I. Wait, I see my Discord flash go up, but not on Dream for a moment there. Okay. Yeah, I definitely need to look right. into this stuff because. If 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 this if me getting if any of us getting uh, if any of us talking is just cut out part way through, that's going to be real annoying for whoever is going to watch these vods and well the stream as well. Seriously, there we go. <laughs> Again. <laughs> yeah, right. I'm gonna finish this really now. Okay. Be careful not to take on too many hedgehogs at once, or those guys will eat you for breakfast. And let's hear. Uh, okay, so he's German. All right. Uh, I haven't met. I have met Germans in the past, now and, but he has been a while. So I, yeah, I haven't heard too much of them using. I think I heard them using some similar things. So if they use yap as well, news to me. I'm glad to learn. The, the, the Swedish and German are both Germanic languages, so there is some overlap, of course. <laughs> oh yeah. Anyway, just follow that way to get to Bad Badion. Anyway, do you two want to form a party? That would be great, right, Leah? Uh-huh. And you, Lucas, will you travel with us too? Unfortunately, I have to leave you soon. Aw, uh, already? Trust me, it's not that fun to travel around with a high-level friend. Unless you don't care for the challenge. You could watch us take on those hedgehogs. Yep. That totally sounds like a lot of fun, doesn't it? No, really, I have to head back to the guild. There's just too much stuff going on right now. The crap will be steaming. The crap will be steaming if I'm gone for too long. I see. Monsieur is just too important for us. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, please don't be that way. And yeah, it's cutting out again. Yeah, what is definitely... going on? It's, go hmm. it's actually gotten worse. Like, other times it happened maybe once or twice for a short moment, but hmm. this stream? Yeah. Yeah. At, at least we're aware of the problem now, so we can actually investigate it. 
Uh, let's see, Marco uh, at trick doesn't mean he can't speak Swedish. Me, I watch the VODs when I miss the streams. Uh, I speak German as well, so I can say that some of the stuff he is saying isn't German slang or words. Okay, so maybe he's uh, Swedish German or German Swedish, whichever of the two would come first in that. Yeah, like I said, we, we, both countries use the same similar letter, like uh, the circle with two dots over it. You can set up a direct link if someone comes up, alright? Let me let's meet again once you reach Badian village. Probably, yeah. Let's do some leveling until we're worth the Dark Lord's attention. <laughs> <laughs> oh Junge. Okay, uh, See you soon, Emily, and you too, Leah. Yeah. They, they, they think he's scared of it, that word. I'm not sure if it was a word or what, but that one I could imagine was a German. They, they word is shouted, it made scared them. A Junge? No idea what that is. Uh, probably young ones, like the. <clears throat> the oh, German oh. word for kids is Kinder, like the eggs. <laughs> We have several other. Unge probably would be if ours for youngling. Or otherwise, you could just say ingling. Huh? Oh well. Ciao, ciao. I, I hope I think that's. I know this. I've heard that word before, but I've never seen it spelled. <laughs> uh, uh, that's probably. Uh, I'm guess, taking a guess here that that's basically German bye bye. Oh, so I just had a bit of an idea. Uh, you know how in the uh, in anime and such, you often hear characters say hi or such. I think you know, I think Leah could probably pay, uh, pass off as uh, being Korean or something or far eastern, with uh, hi being used as uh, a form of yes, or at least it sounds like hi. Uh, hmm. Let's say something here. Well, it's. Also, the fact that the devs are German, English is the singular. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, all right. Party time. <laughs> uh oh. So, where's the option? Ah, we. Oh, are you sure? I think I missed yeah, some sentences from uh, the Lucas earlier. Due to us being so distracted. <laughs> Voila! We just formed a party. Alright, let's head to Autumn's Rise. Or maybe look for quests in town? I'll, I'll let you decide, Leah. This is so exciting! <laughs> yeah, let's see. Tutorial. Learn about the party members, the party menu. Let's see. Yeah. The status of your party members is displayed below your own. Okay, and that's the last one there, at the bottom. You can change the behavior of your party members by the party strategy menu. Okay. And through there as well, the social menu is now unlocked. <laughs> Emily Nater. <laughs> Let's see, you can see detailed stats on all your party members, also their equipment and such. Okay, no need to repeat. Okay, I gotta say, this game has really good tutorials as well, just like Sang Freud's. And they will just follow yeah. after us. Also, this guy totally looks like a German soldier. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Germanic. <laughs> Zeti Ziekening, me. Ziekening. He does <laughs> civilian. <laughs> this is, this is such a thick German accent, you could <laughs> you could use it to fill a hole in a battleship. <laughs> Go she's uh, to Sergeant Brussler and tell him that he, she cannot accept his authority as ein policeman. Because he is missing I incorrect coattail, Jawul. He won't listen to me, also the perfectly correct distance of my <laughs> bottom put ons clearly display my coldness of the matter. What? <laughs> well, hi, she says. That is Jawul, Captain. Is that? <laughs> oh dear, she is to do his best me. Seeing she is uh, the Kaiser of Bruce, and of course she has not only one, but two spikes on her head. 
<laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't have to go to the stupid pointy hats. <laughs> no. yeah. I'm gonna guess she don't notice them because since she's an avatar, they might, they, 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 they might be just well out balanced. Yeah. She may not notice them for normally issue with old helmets will be it would be actually be probably uncomfortable for okay. so much added weight. <laughs> okay, and that's what the shades are for, for unlocking gates. Yeah. That's it, yeah. From Marco. <clears throat> the dude has a freak German accent. Yeah. <laughs> Too sick to pass through a door, Ray. Yeah, and sleep okay. well, Marco. Yeah, sleep well. We're going to we're going to end the stream soon anyways. And uh, let's see, one more tutorial. Combat rank. Your combat rank is displayed in the upper right corner during combats. By defeating enemies, your rank will increase. With a higher combat rank, enemies will drop more items, especially sp including special rare items. When you are out of combat, you'll enter the cooldown phase. Wait, when the blue on. line disappears, combat will end and you will lose your rank. Okay, so basically this is a combo system of sorts. Yep. Oh no. Uh, the, um, I just know that. We, we, we're going to play in Sonic, playing as a hedgehog, to no beating hedgehogs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's a there's a quest there's a quest a little ways in in this area that you'll like very much, I think. Okay. Well, when sound. you enter combat during cooldown, you keep your combat rank. Yep. It's a sort of a it's a sort of combo counter, only it's with yep. kills. Okay, both characters act act separately. Yep. <laughs> he fucking spin dashes. Yep. <laughs> okay. Also, I, I like all the NPCs just running around. This really helps it sell the fact that this is an in-world uh, MMO as well. Annoying. They like to bounce around and shoot at you. So, this... I'm an upgraded Monty Mole. Okay. Uh, let's keep up the fight a bit more. Nope. Okay, I, I thought it was actually keeping it at bay with the range attacks there, but no, it broke through anyway, so. C rank. Okay, I, I, I can see how just the gameplay on its own will also just be a ton of fun with this, where it's pushing you to stay aggressive. Though, yeah. also careful, because we take quite a bit of damage. Uh, also, audio... Uh, oh no, we lost our rank there, just in too late. Yep. Yeah. Audio indicator of the rank and such. So you can use the item menu under left trigger to uh, con uh, consume uh, yep. food. <laughs> okay, I need to remember to keep it held as well. Yeah. Well, okay. but yeah, th th this game is just going to be a ton of fun. But yes. Oh yeah. Let's call it here a little bit early before we get in too thick. Um, too thick of a German accent. <laughs> Very thick, yeah. <laughs> Okay, yeah. This game is going to be great. But before we go do anything else, let me just quickly press through this. And let's see, enter bonus codes. Let's see, just to check the... Actually, I can probably just... There. Copy. Pay. There we go. Well, why did that... That copied way too much. There we go. Caramel <laughs> dancing on the idol activated. Okay. Come on. Come on. God, <laughs> that's too adorable. Uh, uh, you have to input it each time. Okay, that's going to be annoying, but <laughs> we saw it at least, and it was adorable. 
we'll be gonna go. You have a great, you have a uh, great day, and I will see you next time. Okay, uh, see you next time. Please okay. stay, please, and thank you for joining. <laughs> okay, going to need to move her avatar over here a bit over uh, there. Okay, now before we end the stream fully, and oh, <laughs> just now Ink decides to sneak into my room. Okay. Let me close the game quickly, and then we'll go look for someone to raid. So, move this forwards. And... Things to screen share, so Drakir can see. There and there. Okay, let's have a look. We have a, oh, a lot of people online. <laughs> okay. Uh, shall we... <clears throat> shall we cut this down a bit? Oh, dear God. How would you cut down this? Uh, let's see. Ta -ta -ta. You have to input it. Thanks for the stream. Got some. Yep. Pizza has a suggestion. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Arctic, and thanks for telling us about the code. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Oh, uh, now the sleepiness is kicking in. Yeah. Uh, I'll still take. Yeah, I'll still take a quick little look through the list here for any one or any game of interest. Uh, Cider Delicious playing Genshin Impact. Uh, Himasama Shiro is playing One Piece Odyssey. Uh, let's see, there are a few others that are useful too. I'll link them later. Okay. Uh, if you want to be extra sure that I'll be able to find them, we have a Discord. You can put them up there if you'd want. Let me get a quick little link for you there. There we go. <clears throat> okay, <laughs> ink has gone into one of the boxes I have around the room. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello. Halloween is streaming Darkwing Duck. Let me double check. Yeah, everything is muted. Is this the old, an old game? From Game Boy, uh, apparently? Uh, <laughs> game, game Boy era Darkwing Duck. Okay. Oh, uh, And, oh yeah, I, I know Shanker Crab Pizza Lover. I know them. Uh, are they online at the moment? Let me... Yeah, yeah, they're playing yeah. Pokemon Black White's version 2. Okay. And uh, oh, Pika Girl has just gone online with Harvest Moon. Uh, the Winds of Anthos. And other ones to maybe raid. Um, not too many of too much interest, I'd say. So, Pika, Cider, or um, Shanker then? Well, I, I keep calling him Shanker, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be pronounced otherwise. <laughs> Pika or Cider, for those we haven't raided in quite a while. Okay, let's go give Pika a visit then. Okay. Copy the name, head over to our place, and slash raid, paste. But before we start, of course, thank you everyone who's been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza. Thank you, CK Atric. And let's see, Marco as well, of course. Do we have any of our usual lurkers here as well? Yeah, it doesn't look like it. And of course, as always, thank you, Drakir, and thank you, Liz, for joining in on this. And yeah, this has definitely been a ton of fun. <laughs> yeah, and thank you. are welcome as always, my friend. And thank you all for joining this madness. Yeah. Okay, now we now Ink is just jumping around between other things in my room. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, we'll. I can't say when next we would be continuing with this game. Like, Mondays are really the only time that we can stream together with Liz, but it's also the only time that we can continue on with Borderlands. So, I'm guessing for the for the foreseeable future, if we can't do Borderlands on Monday, we'll do CrossCode instead. That looks fine for me. That also probably means we're not rushing through the game. Definitely. <laughs> Where are you going, Fuzzball? So, also, uh, actually, that probably gave us an excuse to have it be our longest stream, actually, to be. Yeah. Okay. Um, tomorrow, we'll be continuing with Sonic Adventure of the, um, <clears throat> the original Dreamcast version. Uh, and well, we'll definitely be busy with that for quite a while. So on, on Thursdays with that as well. And next weekend, we have um, more Dawn of War 2 Retribution. And we will be continuing with Nefarious to try and get the good ending. It shouldn't take too long, I think, from what I read. But I'll still keep a, another game ready 
for continue for if we uh, end up going really short with it. Mm. Uh, okay. here. And for now, let's get that raid started. And yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, everyone, and watch out for undead seagulls and hedgehogs. Yeah. <laughs>